This thing came out of the freaking bushes. Gwen was really trying to go, call for fucking help. But that thing got its hands on her. And was sucking her dry. <laughs> what? What? How is it going, Squad Nation? It is your boy. And today, we are back once again with another Ultimate Spider-Man video. Oh, and today, guys, whew, I don't even know how, I don't even know how I can say this, but um, we're going to talk about the time Peter Parker, the, in, in the Ultimate Universe, faced off against Carnage. Who is literally an abomination. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because. Unlike in the original universe. Where Carnage was created through an offspring of the Venom symbiote. And then it merged itself with a flipping serial killer. A.K.A. Cletus freaking Cassidy. Ah. Uh, that shit was created through Peter Sells. I'm not kidding. That thing was created through Peter Sells, grown in an incubator, and then was born. <laughs> I know it's f so freaky. It's so insanity. I guess we could start this off on how it was even created to begin with. So. <clears throat> In the Ultimate Universe, Peter and Kirk Connors, who was once the Lizard, we don't really get to see uh, Kirk Connors turn into the Lizard or Peter Parker dealing with the fact of, Peter, of you know, Kirk Connors is the Lizard and stuff like that, and them facing off and vice versa. We see him in flashbacks that Kirk Connors was the Lizard at a time, and then, you know, I'm saying some stuff happened, then basically, you know, Kirk Connors is back, right? <clears throat> so... Basically, Peter and Kirk Connors pretty much have this, you know what I'm saying, pretty much a little bit of a, you know, somewhat of a relationship going on, you know what I'm saying? Where Peter comes in to get a little patch-up job, Case Bay Ferry, but throughout the clearing up all of the blood that Peter pretty much, you know, gets on his freaking costume and all of his injuries and whatnot, Connors takes a freaking blood sample of Peter and literally looks at the blood sample and realizes there are symbiote particles in this man's bloodstream. Now keep in mind, like I said, around this point in time, this takes place after the events of Peter and what he dealt with the Venom symbiote all that time, all right? So, pr it, so pretty much at this point in time, still some of the Venom particles are still swimming in Peter's blood, basically, right? It's also also quite interesting to note that the Venom symbiote is also was created through Richard Parker cells, Peter's father. So I guess you could say it's also still technically Peter. It's basically like it's a weird concept, but basically Peter's blood and Rick and Peter's father's blood inside of him. Again, it's weird, but you, you, you kind of get the gist of it. Good. So anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so Kirk Connors basically just runs tests without Peter's knowledge or whatever consent, honestly, and just creates this living abomination in this lab. Sometime afterwards, this abomination breaks out of Kurt's lab. And basically goes on a... When I tell you this thing goes on a killing spree, it goes on a effing killing spree. Kills pretty much everyone that it can, you know, get its hands on. And then... And then you can also see through its... Through its, I guess, its thinking. It thinks it's Peter Parker. It thinks it's Spider-Man. So it's it's a weird, weird, very, very weird um, situation, and it's literally disgusting. I'm gonna be honest, but it gets worse. Um, 
it goes to Peter's house. And what awaits this thing is Gwen Stacy. And oh my God, I'm just gonna keep it a buck 50 and something kosher with you. Out of all the death of Gwen Stacy's, the, the ultimate universe takes the ultimate cake. I, I'm sorry. The, the, like, with the original universe where Pete literally accidentally snapped Gwen's neck. Shh, whew, oh, God. When this thing came out of the freaking bushes, Gwen was really trying to go, call for fucking help. But that thing got its hands on her. And was sucking her dry. <laughs> Pause. But what makes it even worse is that while it is sucking her dry, it forms a face. And the face looks just like Peter a little bit. So essentially you can kind of say that Gwen died literally looking at the face of Peter. Literally moments of her death. <laughs> oh god. Anyways. So that whole situation goes down. Aunt May just stumbles upon the body. Peter's in a horrific state. We just saw just the, the, the atrocity that was committed. And Peter also gets like a call from Kirk Connors. And tells him that, yo, bro, I, I need to see you in a minute, bro, because I, I, I did something. I did something wrong, basically. And Peter, pretty much putting two and two together, pretty much knew what the fuck what happened. So he pretty much presses to Kurt, and he, I'm not even gonna lie, bro, Pete was being the brakes off of this man before he could even explain himself, bro. And Kurt was like, bro, I was just trying to, I was trying to do this in the name of science. And Pete's like, bitch, fuck the name of science. Oh, oh one of my fucking chicks on my fucking roster died. How can you, ex how can you ex tell me that this was in the name of fucking science, right? And while these guys are having a power argument session, the fucking symbiote. The Carmen Sibio comes back and Pete's like, Carners, get the hell out of here. And bro, bro, him and the Carmen Sibio is basically just going to fist the cups, bro. Just basically just, just powering it out, bro. Frame one. Going from, from, from block to block, street to street, building to building. They are, they, they are, they are going, they are you know what I'm saying? They they have a little tussle. But the f the craziest thing is about this thing is that this thing is actually starting to form itself. And what as it starts to form into? You think you think Peter Parker, right? Considering that obviously it came from Peter Cells. No. It came. It the, it looks. The thing literally forms a shape and literally looks like Peter's effing father. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how Peter was able to deal with that shit, but okay. Anyways, the Carnage symbiote Peter continue, like, you know what I'm saying, having their freaking fisticuff. And pretty much, Peter destroys the thing the exact same way how he was able to destroy the first sample of the symbiote, of the Venom symbiote suit. By taking it into a freaking furnace of a freaking fire and burning that shit. And winning. Peter wins the fight, obviously, but the, the cost was just too high. He Peter ultimately blames himself for what happened because it came from his cells and his own freaking goddamn DNA. And as for Connor, he probably he pretty much just like. He, he pretty much just has nothing else to say to this brother anymore. Like, he, he, pre he pretty much goes back to Connors' place and pretty much tells him what freaking pretty much went down and all this other junk like that. But it, it's one of those moments where Peter is just like, you can, like, Peter wants to break down, but 
He's still in that shock and awe phase of just like, he doesn't know what to do. But all in all, that's pretty much it for this video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like this video. Comment down below. Share this video across social media if you can. And subscribe if you need my channel. This is Blessing Song. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!